Welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to share with you a comparison of the Too Faced Born This Way concealer to the Urban Decay Naked Skin concealer. So if you're interested in hearing more about these two concealers, then just keep on watching. Alright, so the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer has been out for a really long time. This is actually the second time I've repurchased it. And then the Too Faced Concealer came out around June. And I have been a big fan of both companies in terms of their skincare products or like their foundations. I love the Urban Decay Foundations and then I also love the Born This Way Too Faced Foundation. Both concealers have very similar claims. They both claim to be full coverage. They both claim to have anti-aging properties to them and also give you a really flawless look so it doesn't look like cakey or like you're wearing too much makeup at all. Also, both concealers are actually the same price. They're both $28. The Too Faced concealer comes in 10 shades. The Urban Decay one comes in 11 shades. But you're actually getting a lot more product with the Too Faced concealer because you're getting 0.23 grams and you're getting 0.16 grams with the Urban Decay concealer. So you're getting almost about a third more product with the Too Faced concealer. So that's definitely something to keep in mind because they are the same price, but you're getting a lot more product with the Too Faced concealer. So before I talk about the formula, I did want to swatch these for you guys so you could see the shade comparison in both. I'm in a light warm in the Urban Decay one and then in the shade light for the Too Faced one. So the Too Faced concealer is on the top and then Urban Decay is on the bottom. Too Faced definitely has more of a pink undertone and then the Urban Decay one is more warm but it's like more warm to neutral. It's not super yellow either which I like. And I don't think that either brand has every shade that you would need but I do think Urban Decay probably has a better shade selection because it does have different undertones and it's not just like light to dark in all the same range of shades. So getting into the formula comparison, I'm going to start off with the Too Faced concealer and that's what's on my right eye today. And this is actually very similar to the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. It's very hydrating. It has the same anti-aging properties. It's also fairly lightweight. It does give pretty good coverage, but it doesn't feel as heavy as some other formulas. Every time that I've applied this, it is really pigmented and it gives good coverage, but it also feels like a water weight concealer. So it is pretty liquidy and the formula does stay put, but if you were to blend it out over like acne or any other scar or dark spot, then I don't think it would last very long because it's not a formula that's really going to like stick to your face. It's going to kind of wear off as you're blending it out. So I do think this formula is too thin to stick to any problem areas, but I do think it does a good job of covering under eye circles or redness and it does just like a really good job of highlighting your face. So next the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer is what I'm wearing under my left eye and I've been wearing this concealer for a really long time so I am familiar with the formula and I do find that it is a little bit thicker. It's not super thick like the MAC Pro Longwear which is actually one of my favorites. It's a little bit thinner than that but it has that same kind of pigmentation which I really like so you don't need to blend out the product so much to just like get the coverage you need but it is just as pigmented and it gives you really good coverage. So I think the Urban Decay Concealer has more of a creamy formula versus the liquid formula of the Too Faced Concealer. So it will stick on to like acne spots or any dark spots you have on your face. It's gonna be able to conceal them a lot better. So I've actually been wearing each of these concealers under one eye for the past couple days and I thought it would be a really noticeable difference, but I really can't tell a difference. And in terms of how it wears, they've both worn the same after like 16 hours of wearing it. So I'm wearing Too Faced on this side and Urban Decay on this side and I think they look pretty much the same for an under eye concealer. I did find that the Too Faced concealer does crease a little bit more than the Urban Decay one. I did set them both with powder and they faded pretty much the same throughout the day. Like they did stay on for a really long time but once I got like late into the night they did both end up fading a bit. So I definitely expected these to be extremely different but they're actually super super comparable. There's just slight differences in why I would pick one over the other and I think it just depends on how I'm doing my makeup that day. I think especially like in the winter I would go for the Too Faced one because it has more hydrating properties and I do have more normal dry skin and I get really dry skin in the winter so if you're getting like really dry patches you don't want to wear a foundation that is drier or a concealer that is drier. You want to wear something that's more hydrating and not going to show any texture on your face. So definitely if you have drier skin or even sensitive skin I would choose the Too Faced concealer because it does feel more hydrating and even more nourishing for your skin but if you need more coverage especially on areas other than your under eyes, then I would go for the Naked Skin Concealer. It's going to give you a little bit more coverage and it's going to 
basically cling on to those areas you need to without having to like apply lots of layer of concealer. But other than that, I would probably use both of these just as often. I do think the Urban Decay one has slightly more coverage, but it's so minimal. It's not even like that big of a difference, especially how I'm using it on my skin. So I'd probably use both of these the same. I do like them both a lot. I will say that they both smell like the foundation of the line. So this one does smell like coconuts, like the Too Faced Born This Way. And this smells like paint, like the, like all of the um, Urban Decay foundations. All right, guys, so that's everything for today's video. Please let me know if you've tried either of these concealers or both in the comments down below. And if you like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll talk to you guys soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. We are